Welcome back. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Python data app using only ChatGPT, your browser, and a CSV sheet for data. You're not going to need PyCharm or VS Code or, or Jupyter or Spider. You don't need to install uh, a virtual environment or, or install uh, Plotly or Dash or Python, nothing. All you need is ChatGPT, your browser, and a CSV sheet where your data will, uh, will be located. So let's see how we do this. In this case, I'm using this CSV sheet. This CSV sheet has a bunch of columns and data that um, um, uh, shows us uh, the amount of birds that were hit that were hit by airplanes in the US and in Canada. So I want to um, use this data and do a little bit of analysis with it on a Python data app. So what I did is first go into chatopenai.com into ChatGPT. I'm using GPT-4, but you can probably use GPT-3.5 for free, not a problem. Click here to attach the CSV sheet. I'll have the CSV sheet under the video if you want to access it. Bird strikes, attach it. And while it's attaching it, you start writing your prompt, right? And the prompt that I am going to share is this. So I'm going to say, uh, use the attach uh, data set from the flights uh, striking birds and create a dash app, right? Uh, the app should include a drop down with the unique states from the origin state column, so from this column right here. And uh, the drop down is going to be tied to a plotly to a, two plotly express figures. We'll have the pie chart and we'll have the bar chart. Pause this video if you want to read a little bit more about what I'm saying right here. And then we're going to click enter and we're going to wait for ChatGPT to analyze the CSV sheet and to give us some code in Plotly and Dash. In the meantime, go to this link under the video, wasm-versal.app and load, um, uh, click on this link so this uh, example app loads. This is just an example app, right? You're not going to use this app, it's just for uh, demo purposes. This takes about 10 seconds to load. Once this loads, depending on your internet speed, then you want to erase, control, erase everything from here all the way down here. And we're going to plug into this the code that ChatGPT is going to give us. So ChatGPT is analyzing. Great. So it's done. It just said that uh, it's going to create the code for me right here. I'm going to copy this code, go into Wasm Dash, paste, and instead of this link, which is on my uh, computer, let's go to the CSV sheet that I put on GitHub. We're going to view raw because we're going to use just a URL where the CSV sheet sits. And we're going to plug it in here, right? So now it's going to read this uh, data set, save and run. And now let's see what it creates. We have a nice uh, Python data app with a drop down that leads to um, a pie chart, right? And this pie chart, let's take, uh, I don't know, Georgia, for example, uh, shows us how many, uh, what percentage of all the air uh, flights uh, the pilot was warned of uh, the birds or wildlife in Georgia, 22%. Uh, let's take it, uh, I don't know, uh, California. In California, it's 44%. So in California, twice as often pilots are warned of birds uh, in the area. And then here I have another like bar chart analysis of uh, the, uh, the um, number of uh, actual birds being struck, right? So this is just an initial um, uh, app, but you see all the code is right here provided by ChatGPT. And now you can build on top of this code by adding callbacks or adding uh, more drop downs and more checklists. And that is it. All you needed is your browser, ChatGPT, and a CSV sheet. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned a lot. Um, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and come join the Charming Data community uh, where we can um, focus on more things like this, uh, similar projects, um, and similar learning opportunities. Um, always remember, we're better together, so help each other out.